We drew a nice barrier. Um, she's usually a bit of a handful in the barriers, but she jumped well. It's still a bit three deep here, but we just get into a nice spot, one back, one out, and then following the, the right horses in the race, and just trying to get her to relax and, and switch off. And with this horse, uh, the, uh, the ideal deal with, uh, thing to do with her is switch her off, get her to relax, and hold her up for one final sprint. And uh, so I haven't had to spend a penny throughout the race with just going coming up to the 700 metre mark. And still one back, one out, but one horse outside me. It's worked hard through the running, so I thought I'll, I'll be able to push that out, turning for home. And as I said, holding up for the last bit is, um, was as key to her. She's just got a short, sharp sprint. So turning for home, I'm uh, cruising really. Um, Got Corsine Mav in front of me. Still sitting, still sitting. Get to about the 200 metre mark and I've really asked for the question. Um, I can hear a horse coming at me and dragon leaps flying at me, but um, throughout the race I didn't have to spend a penny. I just had enough to last uh, right to the line. So um, it was a very perfect result. Makes all the right moves, Opie Boss. And and the big one to the Walker Burgess and Sable today. Gee, there's some runs. But at just start number 13, Stuworth has been able to beat a field of quality here. And it wasn't Stuworth at all. It was dead straight into the line. They get the money and they got it really, really well. Another classic from Opie.